Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to spot spam and phishing emails and how to protect yourself from them. First of all, what is spam? Spam emails range from annoying, albeit harmless, advertising emails to vicious phishing attempts that aim to acquire your personal information, steal from you, or install viral malware on your computer. They do this by impersonating a reputable source, bribing you, or threatening you in various ways. Today we'll walk through how to spot these malicious emails and what to do when you see one. The body of the email is going to be your first indicator of whether or not it's a phishing attempt. Indicators of phishing attempts are emails that are full of spelling or grammar mistakes or simply look unprofessional. That being said, modern phishing emails can also look very believable. These emails can look like they are from a legitimate company or website, or they could look like they came from your CEO. They might use logos, names of companies, names of departments, or job titles that appear to be real. Check if the company name is spelled correctly, or if there are any oddities about how the message is crafted. If you're suspicious of an email, check the from, to, and subject fields. These can give clues as to whether or not the email is from a trustworthy source. One of the most obvious indicators of a phishing or spam email is who the email is from. Is it an email address you don't normally communicate with? Or does it look very similar to an email you recognize but not quite? For example, your HR coordinator usually sends emails from humanresources at yourcompany.com. But this email is from humanresources at yourcompany.com with a spelling mistake. Or, the sender's email can look like it's from a suspicious domain. Perhaps it comes from human resources at your company 123.com. If you suspect the email is spam, check the from field and make sure it exactly matches an email you're familiar with. You can also check the to field. It may include a mix of seemingly random people from your organization or a list of unrelated addresses. You might have been CC'd on an email to one or more people that you don't know. That is a red flag. The subject field also shows red flags. If the subject field looks unprofessional, with strange characters or an odd message, it may be untrustworthy. Spam will always ask you for something. Click a link, download something, or input information. They commonly respond to something you never requested or sent. For instance, your bank asking you to verify some information by clicking a link. Links in general are a very common tool for phishing, so let's go over some red flags for links that should never be clicked. The message of the email is threatening in nature and asks you to click on a link or attachment to avoid a negative consequence. Alternatively, the message of the email sounds very beneficial, for example, click here to get a free TV. As a rule of thumb with emails, if the offer sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If the hyperlink seems illogical, forward, or asks you to look at embarrassing or compromising pictures of someone you know, these are all red flags. In general, it is never a good idea to quickly click on hyperlinks in emails. If you aren't sure about it, hover over the hyperlink first to bring up the URL it points to. If you don't recognize the website it leads to, or the website is slightly misspelled, don't click. The same goes for attachments. These can carry viruses, so it's important to never download an attachment if you aren't sure of the source of the email. If you do happen to click a malicious link, do not enter any data, disconnect from the internet, scan your machine using an antivirus or anti-malware software, and also change your most important passwords. Here are some do's and don'ts when it comes to suspicious emails. Do not open any email attachments that end with exe, ser, bat, com, or other executable files that you do not recognize. Do not click an embedded link in a message without hovering your mouse over it first to check the URL. Do not respond or reply. It's better to just delete the email. Do not unsubscribe. It's better to delete the email than to deal with the security risk of clicking the unsubscribe button. Do check the email from field to validate the sender is actually someone you know or from a correct email address. Do report any suspicious emails to the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. Do trust your gut. If the email seems odd, question it. And if it looks like it came from someone you know, speak to the person in a different form of communication, maybe face-to-face -face or by phone, to confirm the legitimacy of the email. 
fishing attempts are more common and crafty than ever before. But with these tips, you can stay safe from the nasty spammers out there. Stay vigilant about your online safety and remember, when in doubt, don't risk it.